the epitome of darkness, the most powerful of all shadow Pokemon, an experiment and created from Team Cypher used for nothing other than power, dominance, and control. Pokemon XD001 from the depths of darkness comes Shadow Lugia. The creation of Lugia is somewhat of a, a mystery, I guess. I mean, we, we understand it, but uh, let me explain. So according to Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, which is the game that Shadow Lugia was uh, sort of created for, its birth happened because Team Cypher, which is the criminal syndicate organization of the region of Or, closed off the doors to its heart. So essentially, they deprived this Pokemon of emotions, of connection, attachment, all of that stuff. And this can lead Pokemon, not just Lugia, but Pokemon in general, to be become very cold, distant, violent, and incredibly dangerous, causing destruction to towns and, and even causing harm to people. And the main goal of Team Cypher is to use these shadow Pokemon as weapons in battle, which is pretty apparent, but also ultimately to dominate over all of the region of Or and beyond. And they are commanded by the mayor of Phoenix City, S. Cade. Now, in the prologue of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, Shadow Lugia initially attacks the SS Libra. And this, uh, the ship is carrying Pokemon that the uh, team Cypher is going to use to, to sort of experiment on create Shadow Pokemon. However, in the early goings, Shadow Lugia is able to sort of break free from the spell that it's under, and it doesn't quite get the ship to where Team Cypher is. Instead, it gets lost in the desert, and then Team Cypher has to go and get it. And just throughout the course of the game, it's, it's constantly mentioned as Shadow Lugia or XD001, uh, that it's becoming this ultimate Shadow Pokemon that it is immune to purification and that just keep keeps on getting repeated throughout the entire game all the way to the point where the the main character the protagonist michael comes into contact with grievel and grievel sends out shadow lugia but uh, michael is able to snag shadow lugia and capture it and make it a part uh, of its party of michael's party and and after you snag shadow lugia Again, it's believed that it is impervious to purification, right? Meaning the shadow, the shadow power, it, it's permanent. While that is typically the case because Shadow Lugia is not able to be purified by typical means, like using it in battle, you could massage it with sense, you can keep it as an active party member, those do not work. But there is one way that you can purify Shadow Lugia. All right, so the way to purify Shadow Lugia is you have to bring it to the purification chamber, which was created by Professor Crane and then Michael's dad. And you have to maximize the tempo or have the temples at like maximum capacity for all nine of these chambers or sets. Right, and, and you can't just stick Pokemon in these chambers. It's a specific pattern that you have to follow. So you have to place Pokemon that has strengths against the next Pokemon. So you can put a fire type Pokemon followed by a grass type Pokemon, followed by a water type Pokemon, followed by a rock type Pokemon. And you need four in each of these nine chambers. And you have to fill up these nine chambers in that specific sort of pattern. And then that maximizes uh, the the tempos of each of those sets and once they're maximized you can stick shadow lugia in there and then bang you have purified lugia and this also works with since all those various chambers and sets are all maximized you can stick whatever shadow pokemon you want in there now and they'll be instantly purified and that makes sense because shadow lugia is technically the strongest Pokemon in that game and the strongest Shadow Pokemon in that game. Now, once Shadow Lugia has been purified, you could actually transfer this all the way up to like Sword and Shield, I believe. So uh, 
Gale of Darkness is a GameCube game. So what you eventually have to do is you need a GameCube and a Game Boy Advance link cable. Then you can transfer Lugia to the Game Boy Advance games, such as like Pokemon Sapphire, Emerald or Fire Red, Leaf Green, something like that. And then you can transfer from those games to a Nintendo DS game via the DS uh, Game Boy Advance connections. And from there, you can move the Pokemon via the Pokemon Bank and the Pokemon, Pokemon Transporter, or you can move the Pokemon into the Pokemon Bank via the Pokemon Transporter, which is a 3DS app. And then finally, from the Pokemon Bank, you can transfer it via the Switch with Pokemon Home. And that only works with uh, Purified Lugia. And once you have it transferred and once it's purified, it comes with some pretty strong moves. So it comes with Hydro Pump, it comes with uh, Earthquake, it comes with Feather Dance, and then it also comes with Psycho Boost. And Psycho Boost is, it's very special. It's, it's only available to two Pokemon, Lugia, if it's been purified, and Deoxys. So those are the only two Pokemon that can learn this move. Now, the appearance of Lugia, obviously there are some similarities, but Shadow Lugia is different and unlike any other shadow Pokemon, because if you look at other shadow Pokemon, they look exactly the same, except they have just the different, they just have that shadow, shadowy aura around them. But Shadow Lugia actually looks different right? It, it's color palette is different. It's sort of inverted from the original Lugia. It also has on the, the, the legs, it has more like claw-like feet. It also has red eyes and uh, like several spikes and stuff all around its body. And it is, in terms of its typing, classified as a shadow flying Pokemon. Now, the name, not for Lugia, because if you want to know uh, the etymology of Lugia's name, go check out my actual Lugia video, uh, but the name XD001. Now, 001, uh, I, I tried looking it up and uh, to find the, the origins of that. Uh, presumably, it's just referring to it being the strongest of all Shadow Pokemon, it's number one, or maybe it's the first of its kind being this ultimate perfect form of Shadow Pokemon. And now with the XD part, there's sort of some conflicting information if you if you look it up. And one of the sort of nuggets of information you're going to get is that XD stands for extra darkness. Since since, again, Shadow Lugia is this perfect ultimate shadow Pokemon, it's extra dark. It's been found that that's not necessarily true in terms of what XD means. XD, if you look at the the promotional material, if you look at the the box art of uh, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, XD actually refers to extra dimension. And that was, again, part of sort of the promotional material, promotional statements of Gale of Darkness. And... Finally, to sort of start wrapping these things, this video up, there were some cards released in the TCG for Shadow Lugia. So it, it was a promotional card. It was given out all across, uh, not all across the world, I should say, but it was a given, given out to attendance of the uh, Nintendo Pre-Electronic Entertainment Expo Conference. It was also distributed to the uh, Nintendo World Store that was in New York. That was back in 2005. It was also released as a jumbo card, making it not playable in competitive format. You can't play this card. But what's crazy is that Shadow Lugia has the strongest attack without sort of like buffs or effects, like just pure damage. It has the move Shadow Storm, which does a thousand damage, which is tied with the highest amount of damage of any printed card without, again, without counting like damage modifiers. So that is crazy. I didn't and it uses the same box art or it's the same i should say artwork as it does on the box art of uh, pokemon xd and that is shadow lugia there's not a ton on it because it's only appeared in a in two games i believe it or it was referenced in two games so there's not a ton on it it is available in pokemon go shadow lugia but it's not the shadow lugia that we are, we are talking about from Gale of Darkness. It just has the shadow aura and stuff. So 
kind of a missed opportunity, but also it might they they might not have the rights to Shadow Lugia because it was created by obviously a different company uh, than uh, w w Niantech, N Niantech or whatever take uh, whatever company owns Pokemon Go. Yeah, th there just might be some rights issues, but it's available, but it's not the one that. I think we all want and love but let me know what you think about shadow lugia it was pretty cool looking into it if you learned anything new let me know down in the comments and while you're down there please let me know if there's another pokemon you'd like me to do in terms of these uh pokemon lore and fact videos also if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button hit that like button it truly does mean a lot and i thank you so much for your support check out some of our other lore and opening videos and i'll catch you in the next episode Peace.